I am sure that many of you have heard of the dessert Smith Island Cake, but I would be surprised if any of you have actually been to the birthplace of Maryland State Dessert. Smith Island is located off the coast of Somerset County and is the only island in the Chesapeake Bay that people inhabit. Although the island has lost thousands of acres of land due to erosion, there is still a thriving community that offers an escape for anyone who wishes to take a short boat ride and discover a community that seems to be peacefully stuck in the past. After a short ferry ride from Crisfield, Maryland, travelers are docked and unloaded onto the deck of the Bayside Inn restaurant where most decide to stop and eat before exploring the island. The menu at the inn is simple and mostly seafood items, including crab cakes and cream of crab soup. Although there are a few other places to grab a bite to eat on the island, the Bayside Inn is the most extensive sit-down eatery. After a filling meal, travelers can explore the island on foot, by bicycle, or even on a golf cart. The island offers a few places to stop and shop for gifts, such as books or even t-shirts. There is even a museum that chronicles the history of the island and shows tourists how islanders truly live. Although the museum shows videos and images of islanders picking crabs, baking cakes, fishing, boating, and crabbing, all of these things can be witnessed firsthand by walking around. Not only are the islanders interesting to watch, but also the wildlife that inhabits the island. There are plenty of beautiful birds to watch fly over the bay and hunt for fish, or crabs sidestepping along docks. The buildings of Smith Island are also interesting to look at, as they are not modern or high-tech, but just simple and useful. Take, for instance, the only school for the entire island, or the only Methodist church that the entire island belongs to. There are also many houses that can be seen on bike rides or walks through the three parts of the island, Yule, Rhodes Point, or Tylerton, which under 400 people call home. So if you are looking for a place to spend a day or two and wish to disconnect from the fast-paced world that we live in, then I suggest that you take a trip to Smith Island where you can relax and slow down. As Tom Horton wrote in his book, An Island Out of Time, the bay never essayed truer, nor flowed more gloriously than in its creation of Smith Island and Smith Islanders. Far more than any Mariner's Museum or Mystic Seaport or Williamsburg, places like the island are art made all the more artful for contriving nothing, for simply being.